welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome how is everybody today so i have my nails here of course <laughs> i have my unt peel base on i have one layer of that applied ignore my popped peely but if you'd like to see this mani it'll be up there in the cards Make sure you check it out. This color is gorgeous. And I did my very first marble. So today's video, I've been waiting a long time to do. I have the Peppy Gel Starter Kit here. I did order a couple extra colors. So the starter kit comes with pretty much everything in this box except three of the powders. So in the box right on top comes the instructions which i thought was great and it has the peppy gel instructions on the front it has everything you need to do your manicure and it also has the removal instructions on the back which i thought was pretty unique and kind of awesome so everything's there i'm just reading the just the instructions and it seems pretty standard to most dip powder kits so let's get into what's in the box. I'm so excited about this, you guys. You don't even know. So I got four powders here, but only one of the powders comes with the liquids and the buffer. I'm going to leave a link in my description box for this kit. It is a referral link. I believe it should save you about $20 off of the kit. It comes with these three liquids, one, which is what they call Pro Base, which is your base coat. And then they, oh, it's also, it's ready on the front. I thought it was cute. These bottles are so gorgeous too. And then we have number two, which is Activator. And they call this Set, which I thought was kind of cute. <laughs> Can't lie. And then number three, which is the Finish Gel. And when I flip it over, they call it shine which i thought was adorable and then it also comes with this buffer block and i was just kind of rubbing all sides of the buffer block because i was curious to see if it was different grits or all the same i do think it is an 80 grit buffing block which i actually really like so these are the three extra powders that i ordered this first color is called hipster chic and it is in a different jar. I'm a little bit unsure as to why, but I'm not sure. Maybe old packaging. And then this is the what the other jars look like. This is a love drunk. And then we have purple people eater, which is this one here. I will get into swatches and all that stuff shortly. And then this is the color that I got in the kit with the liquids and the buffing block. And it is called frisky on the beach this color you guys is life for me i'm living for this color so in the kit again you get the three liquids which is the base activator and the top coat and then you get one powder and i believe this kit is 69.99 i will double check it and leave it here on the screen but I do have a referral link. Like I said, it'll be in the description box. I do believe that saves you $20. So let's get into the swatches real quick. This is Love Drunk. It is this gorgeous deep purple with like a blue glittery shimmer. I'm not even sure. I think it's like really fine glitters. And I did just want to show that they do all come sealed. I did open these so I could swatch them. That's why the seals are not attached but they do come sealed, which I really appreciate. This color Love Drunk is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to use that. The second color we have here is Purple People Eater. I've seen this in so many videos all over their Facebook, it just everywhere I had to get this color and I'm so glad I did. It is absolutely stunning. It's like a metallic light purple it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Hipster Chic, which is a very, very, very light color with almost, I want to say like goldish green glitters. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not good at descriptions, <laughs> but this color is stunning. It's very, very light pink, 
which I absolutely love. Again, I'm not sure why the packaging is different. I'm assuming maybe it's old packaging, but these are all one ounce jars. So Frisky on the Beach is the color I'm going in with today. And this is the swatch. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. It is everything. It's gorgeous. I love it. It is a very deep blue with beautiful gold glitters. And I'm sure most of you know that blue is my favorite color. So I'm very excited to use this. And I'm also very excited because me and Stacy, my BFF, my love cake, we did a Manny twin on, I believe it was Sunday, with this color. So make sure you check out our Instagram accounts and see our manis. So, of course, as always, I'm going to start with the base liquid. I'm showing you the bottle. The brush is nice. The bottle has a nice stopper inside. Not to mention the bottles are gorgeous. Look at them. They're so pretty. I've never seen any other bottles look like this. So I'm kind of excited about it. So I'm going to get started with my first dip and I am just doing a simple one color Manny. This was the main purpose of this video was because I really wanted to try out the peppy kits. I've seen so many people use them. I've heard a lot of hype about peppy and my friend Stacy from Wine and Dip Powder Nails is obsessed with Peppy Joe. And if you haven't seen her video reviewing Peppy, I'm going to leave it up in the cards. Make sure you go check it out. I did get my referral link from her and that is the reason that I finally ordered this kit because I was able to save some money on it. I do think that $64.99 is a bit pricey, but if the products are worth it, then they're worth it. And the other thing that I'm not a huge fan of is they do not sell anything smaller than one ounce jars. So you're paying, I think it's $14.99 for one one ounce powder, which is not a bad deal for a one ounce jar, but I just wish that we had the option to get smaller size jars if we wanted to. So those are the only issues I have at this moment with Peppy Gel. So with that being said, I do want to talk about the base because you saw a couple things pop up on screen and I wanted to kind of talk about the base coat for a minute. So I did stop for a second and I lifted the base coat up to my face. I did not shove my nose in the bottle, but I did kind of bring it a little bit close so I could get an idea of how strong it was. And I I can't say anything bad about this base. The odor is not strong. The consistency of the liquid is thin, but not so thin and fluid that it floods your cuticles. It is not too fast drying. It's not too slow drying. It's perfect. And I found it very easy to work with. I find it sometimes when you try a new liquid, a new base in particular, that it can be hard because you're not sure how it works, how, how thin or thick or if it's really fluid or, or what. So you don't know if you're going to flood your cuticles. You don't know how far the product is going to go, but I found that the Peppy Gel Pro Base, their Ready, <laughs> was really easy to use. I found it very easy. Like, I, I would recommend this kit to a beginner without hesitation because I feel the liquids are so easy to work with and the powders are great quality. They're super soft, they're fluffy, they're easy to work with, they're not, um, I just, they're, they're great. I mean, this is one dip and it's pretty opaque. I do do two dips because that is my normal MO 
and I will clear cap, of course. Um, the kit does not come with a clear dip powder. I do kind of wish that for the price that they at least included a clear, but not a big deal. They do run sales on their kits all the time. So again, make sure you check out the referral link in my description box if you are interested in purchasing this kit because it will save you some money. So I am about to go with my second dip. You saw me put down a paper towel because I do want to brush off my base brush after it touching the dip powder. Just because I've seen a lot of peppy tutorials and they do highly recommend this. And I do not want to risk ruining my base, especially after waiting so long to try this kit. I really wanted to try this kit for a very long time. So I definitely don't want to ruin my base before I really get to use it. So I am wiping it off after um, applying that second coat of base just because it did touch the dip powder and I do not want to contaminate. But again, this base is super easy to work with. It has a really low odor which is fantastic. I have never personally experienced dip blue, but I do experience some sinus issues. Like I can be a little bit sniffly or congested for a couple hours after I dip, but I've never gotten dip blue. But I do have some of my subscribers and friends who do get dip blue so I know that that odor aspect of that base is important to a lot of people. So I did just want to touch on that. I do love the stopper in this bottle. It wipes off the brush perfectly so you do not get too much or too little product, which I think is amazing. So I'm going to finish up with this second dip. I am going to clear cap. I do only clear cap one nail on camera because the main purpose of this video is to review the Peppy starter kit and it does not come with a clear. But I do always stress that you cap all of your colors in clear. You do not want to mess up your beautiful colors that you apply to your nails. So I will be back um, shortly. Actually, real quick, the activator. Activator usually is activator. I have had some activators that do not work as well as others, but I had no problems with the Peppy activator. It was not super strong smelling. It smelled like regular activator. So I will be back shortly when I have a little bit more to say. And then at the end of the video, we will have some final thoughts.
All right, so after activating, we are going to wait two minutes before we file shape and buff. And I did do that off camera and I did use the buffer and I am very pleased. I really like the buffer. So now I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol and I am making sure to get any dust off of my nails from around the cuticles, from on the nail. I just want all that dust gone. So once I go ahead and finish up dusting off, I am going to get ready to apply the top coat. But as most of us know, we have to activate again first. Activation for the second time is what will cure your top coat. So this step is crucial. And following the peppy instructions is even more crucial. I know sometimes we might not wait the full two minutes before we go in with our top coat or we'll wait a little bit longer or we won't wipe it with a paper towel. But here I am double checking the instructions because I want to make sure that I do this right. Now, the first time I applied this top coat, it did not go so well. It dried a little bit, I don't know, weird. It was still shiny, but not as shiny as it could have been. And it had kind of ripples, maybe. Not ripples all the way throughout, but just like a couple of kind of thicker ripples. And I'm not sure what did that. So I went ahead and I buffed that off. I activated again and I waited the full two minutes, not a second longer, not a second shorter. Once I did that, I took my lint-free pad and I did wipe off any excess that may be there. I also have my paper towel to the side because after I apply the first coat doing two to three very quick strokes, I want to make sure I wipe off my brush before returning to the bottle. We do not want to cure the whole bottle of top coat. <laughs> that would not be good. So I am doing that and then I'm going to give it a second. I'm going to show you here. It looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go in with my second coat of top coat, which is going to be my detailed coat. This is where I'm going to make sure I get cuticle to free edge, sidewall to sidewall. And I will also cap my free edge while I am here. Now, the second time I applied the top coat, it went perfectly. I followed the instructions on the peppy instruction paper to the T and I did not have a problem. So I cannot stress enough. If you are going to use the peppy kit for the first time, make sure you read the instructions and you follow them to the T because it is very important, especially when it comes to the top coat. And I'm going to let that dry. And here it is. So again, this is my second time applying it and it looks fantastic. The first time I applied it, it did not look so great. <laughs> so. Oh, that I didn't. It wasn't dry yet at that point here. Now it's dry. I lied. <laughs> now it's dry. And as you can see, it's shiny. It looks amazing. I didn't have any issues on that second application. So again, I cannot stress it enough. Make sure you follow the instructions. This color, you guys, frisky on the beach. It's gorgeous. It's everything. I'm obsessed. It is still on my nails right now, and I just cannot stop staring at it. I love it so, so much. And now we are going to get into some final thoughts. So here we have everything that comes in the kit. The buffer, which I used instead of an e-file, which was pretty amazing. And I used this one spot for all five of my nails and it does not feel any less grittier than the other side, which is awesome. And it's super squishy. So I got around my cuticles, cuticles. I got around my cuticles perfectly. The powder. Zero complaints about the powder. It was amazing. This color is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. No complaints about the powder. 
the liquids. The base, I have zero complaints about this base. I honestly, I have to say that this is this is one of my favorite bases now. I think it might even be my favorite at the moment. So I'm a really big fan of the Pro Base. I absolutely love it. The Activator. Activator worked well. It also has a stopper in the bottle, as does the base coat and the top coat. It had a black brush, which I have no problem with. The Activator worked great. The top coat. It has the stopper inside, as I mentioned. It has the clear brush, same as the base. And I love the shine that I got from this top coat. It is finicky. I will say that. But with that being said, I do like it. So do I like the Peppy Kit? Yes. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Make sure you check out my referral link in the description box so you can save yourself some moolah. So now, per usual, I'm going to wrap up my mani with some Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. This is Hot Mess Marla. I will leave this in the description box as well. The proceeds to this cuticle oil go to the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. And I do have a 15% off discount code with Candy Skincare. The code will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Hot Mess Marla is amazing, and I absolutely love it. Hydrating your cuticles is very important. Look at how much better my nails look with hydrated cuticles. <laughs> It looks great. So you guys, don't forget, check out Stacy's Peppy Gel Review. And I really hope that you guys liked this video. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and spending some of your time with me today. I appreciate it so, so much. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And I love hearing from you guys, so please comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see next. I always want to hear from you guys. And if you're not already subscribed and you enjoy my content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it so, so much. You guys are the absolute best, and I appreciate every single one of you. I have some giveaways coming up, so stay tuned. Hit that notification bell, you guys. Thank you again for hanging out with me. I love you so much. Bye.